Top 10 Extinct Animal Scientists Want to Bring Back to Life Our interest soars because there are more extinct species than there are alive ones, according to research. The top 10 extinct species that researchers wish to bring back to life are displayed in this video. It makes sense that we can't get enough of the Jurassic Park films. Fortunately, we live in a period where science can go back in time and, like the aforementioned movie franchise, bring back some of the extinct animals from around the globe. Even lists of probable candidates are accessible, and they are quite fascinating. Brightside looked into which animals might soon be back among us and chose the next 10 as potentially very thrilling to see in person. Number 10, Woolly Mammoth. The woolly mammoth, Mammothus primigenius, was a species of extinct mammoth that existed from the Pleistocene until the Holocene epoch. In a line of mammoth species that began with Mammothus subplanifrons in the early Pliocene, it was one of the last. In East Asia, some 800,000 years ago, the woolly mammoth started to diverge from the steppe mammoth. The Asian elephant is the creature's nearest living relative. The Colombian mammoth, according to DNA research, was a cross between a lineage descended from steppe mammoths and woolly mammoths. The discovery of frozen corpses in Siberia and North America, together with skeletons, teeth, stomach contents, excrement, and representations of the species from life in prehistoric cave paintings, has led to some of the most comprehensive research on the appearance and behavior of this species. Before Europeans learned about mammoth remains in the 17th century, they were well recognized in Asia. Long a subject of discussion, it was frequently claimed that these remains were those of mythical creatures. Georges Cuvier classified the mammoth as an extinct species of elephant in 1796. Number 9, Saber-Toothed Tiger. Any extinct cat-like carnivore from the cat family's subfamily Macarodontini or extinct family Nimravidae, also known as the saber-toothed cat, saber-toothed tiger, or saber-toothed lion, Felidae. They are frequently referred to as saber-toothed tigers or saber-toothed lions even though the contemporary lion and tiger are real cats belonging to the subfamily Felini and are named for the pair of elongated blade-like canine teeth in their upper jaw. From the Eocene to the Pleistocene eras, cats with saber-toothed teeth were present, 56 million to 11,700 years ago. The Nimravidae lived from 37 million to 7 million years ago, according to fossil evidence. The genera Hoplophonius, Nimravus, Dinictus, and Barborophellus are only distantly related to Felids. The Macarodontini comprise the more well-known Smilodon as well as Homotherium and Megantaron, and they were alive from roughly 12 million to less than 10,000 years ago. Throughout the Miocene and Pliocene epochs, saber-toothed cats were common in North America and Europe, 23 million to 2.6 million years ago. Number 8, Woolly Rhinoceros. Both the two ancient species of rhinoceros known as woolly rhinoceros were discovered in fossilized remains from the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs, 5.3 million to 11,700 years ago, in Europe, North Africa, and Asia. It likely descended from Dicerorhinus, an older variety that lived in northeastern Asia, crossed into Europe, and went extinct at the end of the most recent ice age. The creature was enormous and had two horns that extended from the front of its skull. It also had a thick coat of hair. Until at least 18,500 years ago, woolly rhinoceroses could still be found in northern Eurasia, and there is scientific proof that humans did not kill them to extinction. The Blingallard interstadial, which began around 14,700 years ago and saw the fast retreat of the Pleistocene ice sheets, is thought to have caused the dramatic climate changes that led to their extinction. Number 7 of the Irish Elk in what is now southern France, prehistoric beings painted enormous deer on the cave walls more than 20,000 years ago. It's challenging to think that they weren't inspired by amazement. These massive deer would have been a fascinating sight, standing two meters tall at the shoulder, or the height of a typical doorframe. The males in particular, with their enormous antlers that can measure up to three and a half meters in breadth. The enormous deer's earliest fossil records date back 400,000 years, while its most recent ones date back 8,000 years. The species is believed to have progressively disappeared because of a changing climate. Number 6, the Siberian Unicorn. A groundbreaking fossil find may show that the Siberian Unicorn, now extinct, actually walked the Earth alongside humans considerably later than previously believed. 
Before a fossilized skull was discovered in Kazakhstan, scientists thought the Elasmotherium sibiricum perished 350,000 years ago. Using sophisticated carbon dating techniques, which determine the age of ancient materials, it was discovered that the fossil was 29,000 years old, which means the animals roamed the earth for 321,000 more years than previously believed. The Siberian unicorn, unfortunately, looked more like a contemporary rhino than the mythological animals from stories. It was more than 4 meters long, 1.8 meters tall, and more than 4 tons heavy. It had a shaggy coat and was known as the cool horn because of the enormous horn that protruded from its forehead. Now, scientists are attempting to understand how the creature was able to live so much longer than other creatures of its sort. Number 5. The Dodo. The Dodo was an extinct flightless bird from Mauritius, an island in the Indian Ocean. It was one of three species that made up the family Raffidae, and it was typically grouped with pigeons in the order of columbiforms, while it was occasionally treated as a separate order. The solitaires were the other two species, which were also located on islands in the Indian Ocean. Portuguese sailors saw the birds for the first time in approximately 1507, they were later wiped off by people and the creatures they brought into the world. The Rodriguez solitaire disappeared in 1790, the Reunion solitaire by 1746, and the dodo by 1681. The dodo serves as a symbol of obsolescence about human technological advancement and is widely recognized as one of the best examples of extinction brought about by humans. Number 4. Dolphins Living in the Baiji River The Baiji is the first large mammal species to go extinct in 50 years, and it is entirely human-caused. We must remember the extinct Baiji and the human-caused factors that led to its demise for the benefit of the world's remaining river dolphin species. This spectacular and rare river dolphin's passing is a sad tragedy that may have been prevented. The Baiji is a sentinel species, a canary in the coal mine, and its plight should serve as a wake-up call for us to increase our efforts and energies to save the other river dolphins around the world from suffering the same fate. Number 3. The Ground Sloth Charles Darwin may not have uncovered an extinct species of giant sloth that was strictly a plant eater. Mylodon darwinii was thought to have been a herbivore like most of its extant cousins throughout the Pleistocene, which occurred between 1.8 million and 12,000 years ago. However, the study of hair samples revealed that to maintain its gigantic size, it periodically added meat to its diet of mostly plants. The discoveries might alter our perception of the environment and animals that existed in prehistoric South America. Number 2. The Phylacin The last known phylacin, named Benjamin, passed away from exposure on September 7, 1936, at the Beaumaris Zoo in Hobart, just two months after the species was given protected protection. Around 5,000 phylacins are thought to have lived in Tasmania before European settlers arrived. Excessive hunting, along with other causes including habitat loss and disease introduction, hastened the extinction of the species. The thylacin is a Latinized Greek name that approximately translates as dog-headed pouched one. The thylacin, the biggest marsupial carnivore in the world, was also called the Tasmanian tiger because of the striking stripes on its back. Although the tiger had a reputation for being violent, it was semi-nocturnal and was thought to be quite shy, generally avoiding human interaction. Number 1. Neanderthals Neanderthals are thought to have disappeared around 10,000 years ago. 30, 000 years ago, Ka. This date comes after the appearance of modern humans in Europe by several millennia, but the limits of our dating techniques make it difficult for us to determine the precise timing and length of this period. For instance, high levels of atmospheric radiocarbon generation during this period cause a great deal of ambiguity in the pertinent radiocarbon ages, Connard and Amp, Bolus 2008. Some people consider the loss of the Neanderthals to be a real extinction. Some claim that Neanderthals were incorporated into the gene pool of contemporary humans rather than going extinct. This is the end of this video. Do you feel it interesting? Give your feedback in our comment section and subscribe to our YouTube channel.